On to the next story, Miguel. Now, Miguel, I know, has been in previous Tekken games, but I don't think I was any good with him. I think I played with him a little bit, but I don't remember him being anyone who I like. After losing his sister in an airstrike ordered by the Mishima Zaibatsu under direction of Jin Kazama, Miguel Caballero Rojo devoted his life to seeking revenge. However, when Jin suddenly vanishes without a trace, Miguel's life purpose disappears along with him. From that point forward, Miguel began to wander like a specter from Battle Town Torn to Battle Town... Battle Torn Town to Battle Torn Town. One day, as he ambled through rows of dilapidated buildings, he stumbled across a strangely familiar hooded man. Here in front of him was none other than his sworn enemy, Jin. Consumed by both euphoria and rage, Miguel becomes frenzied and goes in for the kill. Huh. Round one. It's regular Jin. <laughs> KO. Okay. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Wow, he's literally counterhitting everything I'm doing. First person perspective. Wow! Two monstrous counter hits. I rocked them. Keep hitting him. Yes. Yes. Never enough. Keep going. Do it. He did it. He killed him. It's about time someone finally had the ball. Pero no ahora. Aún no ha sufrido lo suficiente como para merecer la muerte. What a puss. What a puss. No, todavía no. No hasta que estés lleno de esperanza. Entonces te mataré como si no fueras nada. Sure. No te atrevas a morir hasta que llegue ese. I'm gonna leave you alive so I can kill you later. What? <laughs> what? Bandai Namco says you're worth too much money. I can't kill you now, but I'll kill you later. Whatever you say. What the fuck? That was weird. Seems like an interesting character, though. I was doing a lot of counter hits leading to combos of giant damage, so pretty good. 